Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Happy, happy Halloween weekend! I know it is the night before Halloween, um, but this is going to count as my Halloween video for this year because tonight I am having a party and I just want to relax and like be in the moment. So I'm posting my video tonight so um, I can enjoy my Halloween weekend, but happy Halloween weekend everyone, tis the season. I am a cat. Um, I couldn't think of anything else. I had to come up with a last minute costume, so I've got my little cat earrings on. I love these earrings. They're like little cats in boxes. Eee! And I have my little Hello Kitty hair clip. I don't know if you could see. And of course my kitty ears. So what are you dressed up for this year for Halloween? Are you dressing up? Do you not know if you want to? Comment below and let me know what your vibe is this year. I am feeling so in the spirit. I've got my pumpkin candle burning. And before I start with my reaction video today, which is going to be some more Amphibia, I want to thank you guys for anyone who checked out my music video. Um, I'm putting out original music for my first EP I'm recording under the name Fairy Gemini. And um, it means a lot to me for any of you guys who actually checked it out because it's been a long time passion project of mine. So thank you so much for anyone who did. Uh, the love is always supported. So before I get started on my reaction, let's look at some fun little Tokidoki unicorns that are also dressed up for Halloween today. Starting with one of my personal favorites, this little one. I think she's supposed to be some kind of like a, maybe a fairy tale princess. She has the little blue bird on her head. She's wearing a princess crown. She's got some flowers on the side and these adorable little heart and star prints on her face. So I think her costume this year is a princess. This is one of my favorite Tokidokis, love her. The other Tokidoki I wanna show you is really interesting, Medusa Unicorn. I kind of think this concept is a little weird, <laughs> but she is pretty, pretty cool. She's got some pretty cool markings on her and she's got some rainbow snakes on her head. And I think this is a very edgy costume for this little pony. And our last Halloween dressed up Tokidoki is Peacock Unicorn. Did you ever think you would see a peacock and a unicorn all in one? Me either. Did you ever think it would be super cute? Me either, but it is. Look at her tail. Look how gorgeous she is. I love this one a lot. I really do. Especially her little peacock headdress. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys some fun dressed up Tokidokis today. And without further ado, happy Halloween weekend, everyone. Let's watch some Amphibia. <laughs> I might fast forward the theme song, guys. Sorry. Let's get to the episode. Okay, so the first episode I'm watching today, mini episode, I guess, because that's how the show works, is The Domino Effect. Hmm, interesting. That means one event unfolds after the other, right? So let's see. What are they playing? Watermelon baseball? With an with a tree axe that Anne made. At least they entertain themselves. They seem like they have a lot of fun. Uh oh. That, <gasps> oh, Spark has hair. I didn't even know he had hair. <laughs> it's cute. Is that a cat? Psychic guys. Oh, the poor cat! Oh, ooh, it's a cat bug? It's a cat, cat caterpillar? A caterpillar? I know, I know, I know, guys, I know. How do I come up with these things? I don't know. It's a caterpillar, literally. Oh, it's so cute. No, it's cute. That's why she's, that's why she's squeeing. but it's still pretty cute. Oh! Anne has a pet. I can't believe I dressed up as a cat in this episode's about a cat. <laughs> it was meant to be in the universe. It's so cute. I never thought a cat would look cute with six legs and no nose or whiskers, but it weirdly works. <laughs> it's really cute. I hope the cat stays around. Domino too. Okay. Makes sense. It's a derpy cat. 
a little bit of a derpy cat. That's okay. We like derpy. Derpy is cute. Aww. Look at the caterpillar. So weird. I like it though. The little legs in the middle are just like. <laughs> What's Hot Pop up to? Is he cutting up a snake? Why? Uh, not really fill those dishes. Oh my God, I'd be having anxiety. I need to do my dishes like right away as soon as I eat something. I have to wash my dishes right away. don't do enough work around the house, so he doesn't want another animal coming in the house. Oh, why is he chewing on Spurt's leg? Play biting. Oh, I want them to keep the caterpillar. It's so cute. Okay, so now we know a little bit more about Anne, that she's a cat girl. Who is Charlie Big Bottom? Oh, they're gonna hide, they're gonna sneak the cat in. That was a pretty like loud sneeze for such a little cat, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Tarantula hair. I would not want a tarantula in my house, no way. Damn, and just snuck down there like a champ, good job. freaking out. There's so many spider webs. Oh, there's probably so many spiders in there. <laughs> Aww. Caterpillar. Oh no, she got scratched up. See, that is the thing. Like, I do not fault cat lovers. If you love cats, great. They're adorable. But sometimes, oh, but they're so cute. Caterpillar. Domino too. Hey. <laughs> Uh-oh. Am I getting like evil vibes about this cat? Oh, she shoots spider webs because she's part bug, I guess. Oh, she built her a tree house. Cute. What is that, a leaf sandwich? Very vegetarian, I guess. I don't like the snake on top, but. <gasps> Domino too, how dare you eat Hot Pop's lunch? That's not very nice. Ooh. Oh, it's a present, I guess. And she's like, for me? <laughs> and I knew right away it was a present. Don't eat Polly. That is going way too far. That is where I draw the line, Caterpillar. There's gotta be a catch. The cat kinda eats everything. Wait, it's a caterpillar. Does that mean the cat's gonna eat and grow and then form a cocoon and then emerge as, <gasps> knew it, I called it, I called it and she just did the, she just started building the cocoon as soon as I said that. I, I love when I predict things, I love it. I know it's kind of obvious, but like I love it. It makes me feel like mildly just like accomplished for something minor, so don't judge me please. So is she, Gonna turn into a caterfly? Caterfly? Ooh, and they played scary music. I have a feeling it's gonna emerge and be terrifying. I'm excited. I'm in the Halloween spirit, so I kind of want like scary, something scary to happen. Why are you eating all Hot Pop's food? I called it. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> Papa knows what's up. You can't lie to him, Spurg. Oh, 
Oh no. Is it poisonous? Killer pillar? Oh god. <laughs> Probably really evil though. <laughs> I kind of like it. Is that weird? <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of weirdly cute. Like it's like scary but cute. <laughs> it's like me. It has like a cute cat face still. Oh, and oh, oh. oh. Yeah, it's a dangerous. <laughs> ah, I don't know what it is. I love the design of this thing. She's playing with them like how a cat would play with cat toys. <laughs> I really like the design of this thing. I don't know why. It's funny to me. Oh, that's not funny. Don't like that part. Don't like that spiny evil tongue. Yeah, run in. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is such a good Halloween episode! Is she gonna is she gonna tame it? Yeah, she's a wild animal. Oh I'm sorry, Anne. That's sad. Aww. I feel, I feel. I have a feeling she's gonna come back. I have a feeling Domino 2 is gonna come back. Oh my god. <laughs> Hot Pop. Poor Hot Pop.
works for you. I didn't know he had a theatrical background. I respect that. What? <laughs> Hop Hop's so over it. Hop Hop is such like a stereotypical like old man with old school values. These beautiful teens. <laughs> Don't get them hooked on reality TV, Anne. <laughs> Is she gonna get Hop Hop hooked on it? If she does, I will crack up. That would be so freaking funny. Ooh, damn, Hop Hop. He just called Anne uncultured. Snap. Snap. There's suspicious music playing. What was that? Is that popcorn? Those are like giant pieces of popcorn. Oh, you gotta charge your phone. Hmm. Charge your phone, girl, it's okay. Oh, is it because it's like live? Oh, duh, because she doesn't have a phone charger, that's why. Oh no. I would honestly be freaking out too. That's like all of her connection to the human world is now gone because of that losing power. That sucks. <laughs> Polly. Oh, one of them snuck down. Okay, calling it right now. Hop Hop did it. I guarantee Hop Hop did it because he was curious and then he became secretly hooked and that's gonna be the joke. If I'm right, then... Then congratulate me in the comments. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. If I'm right, congratulate me. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, they don't have that here. I would be freaking out if my cell phone died in this... Beasts of Amphibia. Whoa. The Zappapede. Hmm. That does sound kind of cool. And maybe scary though. <laughs> HP. Hmm. Oh my god. And got them like so addicted to that show now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so they're gonna climb up this Thunder Mountain just to find like a phone charger for her or I mean, if they zap the phone directly, it might just like explode, which is not good for anybody. I like their clock. I never noticed that before. The big, <laughs> he's watching the clock too. <laughs> oh, Spring plays violin. I didn't know that. That's so cute. Oh, that's so sweet. My mom used to play the violin and I played for a little, but it was never my thing, but I, Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta walk across that sketchy bridge though to get to it. No, thank you. No, thank you. I will pass on that. That is scary. Hmm. Now they're all gonna be like blaming each other like the guys on the show. I get it. <laughs> cartoons like those really rickety bridges it's like such a trope it's like a classic 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Hot Pop's not really... <laughs> Hot Pop's not really doing anything. Knew it! Oh no. Oh no. That sucks. How are they gonna get up there? Ooh, you don't want to fall down there, though. So won't they just get totally zapped? Mm. <laughs> Ooh, not a time to be fighting. I hope they don't fall down there. Oh my God, Polly, I can't believe she's able to twist his arm like that. They're fighting like siblings. <laughs> <laughs> they must fight all the time. Oh, Anne's gonna get involved in that? Okay. Of course she would, because Anne is rough and tough and she goes right in. <laughs> ah! It was a uh, It was Hot Pop! <laughs> Congratulate me! Give me a high five in the comments! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! And that was an unlikely thing, guys, okay? I called it. He loved it. <laughs> yes! That's because reality TV is a guilty pleasure, Hop Hop. It is fine. We all know this. It is a universal thing that reality TV is a guilty pleasure that we all secretly love and we don't like to talk about it or admit it, but everyone has at least one crappy reality TV show they love. It's okay, Hot Pop. I'm so proud that I called that. So proud. Predicted two things in both episodes. Two predictions were correct in each episode. I feel accomplished. Hot Pop, it's okay. It's okay to like reality TV. Damn. <laughs> Dude, those freaking what are they called? Zappapedes? They're cool looking too. I really like the designs of, uh... Oh my god, Hot Pop, chill. Oh no. Are you? E oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It is not a crime to secretly like reality TV. <laughs> Polly, you were gonna push him off a cliff? Polly says some things sometimes and I'm like, girl, you're kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of cute that Hop Pop likes reality TV. <laughs> that was cute. Ah, oh, how fun. Well, those were some great episodes. I, um, I'm so happy that I, like, predicted the twist in both of them. I feel so, like, I don't know, feel accomplished. Anyway, guys, I'm loving watching Amphibia so much. Uh, I'm considering maybe on occasion reacting to a different cartoon. Like I said, I like to do two at the same time. But for now, I'm going to continue with Amphibia. Can't wait to see what happens. And I hope you guys have a really, really happy Halloween and a fun Halloween weekend for me and my little Tokidoki unicorns to you. Happy Halloween, everybody, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!